bed. Son, what's wrong? Why do you assume something's wrong? I'm not. <laughs> we haven't spoken for a while, so I thought I'd just stop by and see how you were doing. I'm, uh, I'm fine. I've been working. Really? On what? Kind of hard to explain. Try. So you know. You made me look like a fool. What are you talking about? I'm in the middle of playing the best round of golf I've ever played in my life. Ed Patton happens to mention that my son asked him to invest in his new business. Dad. But you haven't heard the best part. Charlie Weber overheard the conversation. Said you'd asked him to invest a week and a half ago. I also asked him to give me a chance to tell you myself. Well, they didn't. I had to hear about it on the street. <laughs> I don't think your country club qualifies as the street. And none of this matters since so far, nobody's given me a dime. At the very least, you could have asked for my help. Shown me a prospectus, something. I really want this business, Dad. I just don't want it from you. <laughs> well, then maybe you don't want it bad enough. You're on the Ridgeside Bank case. Yeah, just happened yesterday. Surprised you have time to eat? Shouldn't you be flooding my office in paperwork? Oh, I'm sure you'll find a few things waiting for you when you get back to the office. And there's more coming. I've reassigned a couple of my cases to devote more time to yours. Are you telling me that Green Norse is so intimidated by little old Terry Joseph that they've allowed their top litigator to give more time to my case? Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat the firm that rejected you? I was the one who walked away, remember? And I took the whole Green Norse bag of tricks with me. <laughs> hey, Terry. I'm sorry I'm late. It's okay. Excuse us. Hey, sir, did you get our table? Mm -hmm. That was the enemy. The Green Norris lawyer assigned to our case. I, mean, I can go back and take him if you want me to. <laughs> I'm sure you could. You know, they've already started hounding my co-workers, previous employers, and even some of my ex-girlfriends. Just looking for dirt. Will they find any? Let me make this clear to you. I never harassed Melissa. I fired her because she could not do the job. Now, was there ever any talk that could have been construed as inappropriate? I'm not saying I never flirted with her a little, but she was into it. Did she say that? She didn't have to. Oh, come on, Terry. You know as well as I do. Women love attention. <laughs> no, they do. They need it. It's a, it's a self-esteem thing. Oh, really? Just between us, I don't really see what the big deal is. The big deal is a $2 million lawsuit and a mountain of bad publicity. Well, the bank is standing behind me because they know I'm innocent. That's good to know. Sometimes I wish women could see themselves in the workplace. I mean, I've seen senior VPs stop to put on lipstick before they go into the boardroom. <laughs> Or the director of finance, jet out of a meeting because he's late for what? Some lunch hour haircut? That's not all women. <laughs> Most of you. From your uncomfortable shoes to the right perfume. No matter how insignificant or powerful a woman is, she worries about how she looks. Again, not all women. I'm just telling you what I've experienced, okay? Be that as it may, I can't let you express those views in the courtroom. Melissa was your subordinate, and that's all the jury's going to care about. Well, for folks like you and me, Terry, once we hit a certain tax bracket, there's nothing around us but subordinates. Let's order lunch. Okay. Damn it. Mm. Okay. Mm, that was good. Hey, now I cannot eat another bite if you can believe that. <laughs> I can't. Mm. Um, uh, please take these in the kitchen and put them in the mm. sink. Can I watch TV? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take hey, with so, you. so how's it going down at the store, brother-in-law? Well, staying busy. I'm thinking about bringing on some more help so I can focus on the books. So you want some coffee? Terry. Huh? 
And you've been quiet all night. What you got on your mind? Work. I've got this client whose whole defense against a sexual harassment claim is women need attention from men. Well, what? Well, I mean, some of us do like attention. So what? Why can't that just be treated like a fact instead of being treated like a negative fact? <laughs> Bird, what the hell is a negative fact? I don't know. Sounds like your wife has come up with a very confusing way to defend sexual harassment. No, 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 no. That's not what she's saying at all. You know, if, if I can speak for you, Bird, is that there is nothing really wrong with a woman wanting a man's attention. And you can make all the laws you want to, but none are going to stop men from hitting on women. See, that's exactly what I was trying to say. No, that is not what you're saying. Hey, yes, that is what it you're is. Saying. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. Every day, some guy is in my shop using his weakest pickup line on every stylist he can get his hands on. So what? It's no big deal. We laugh at him or ignore him, and it's over. No big deal? Who been hitting on you at work? Ooh. <laughs> Baby, I'm just speaking generally. <laughs> but see, look, wait a minute. That's the difference, Bird. The man that comes into your shop has no power over you. He can't threaten to take your job if you don't sleep with him. Exactly. This is the 21st century. A man has no business chasing his secretary around the desk. That's what the laws are there for. It is not that simple. Okay, some of these women are just as bad when it comes to men. I mean, it works both ways. Yes, it does. I see it at the store every day. Women love seeing a hard-working, committed black man handling business. Um, excuse me. Um, what women are you talking about? A body bird. I'm just speaking generally. <laughs> <laughs> He takes it to the hoop, and it's Remy, Remy, oh, rebound by Jackson. Ben, did you see this? It's from Ahmad's math teacher. He's failed the last two quizzes, and she's worried. This doesn't even make any sense. Math is his best subject. Oh, yeah. Ken Kenny, hmm? have you heard a word I've said? Well, yeah, 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 of course, baby. You said that Ahmad is in trouble, and you need me to talk to him. Was that a guess? Yeah. Was I right? Would you please go and talk to your son? Uh, uh, come on. You got a second for your old man? Sure. That's how things go in school. Fine. Uh-huh. Well, what about your math class? Don't want to tell you about shrugging your shoulders. Not to. All right, well, then speak up, then. Mrs. Briggs is hard. We get more quizzes in her classes than all my other classes put together. And plus, we just started calculus a few days ago. Well, maybe she's hard because she wants you to learn. Nah, I just think she's crazy. Yeah, well, maybe so, but your grades are slipping in math. And that's not okay with your mom and me. My friend Mike started using some new tutor. Maybe I need one, too. All right, maybe so. Well, why don't we try this tutor and uh, see if it helps? Okay. All right. Uh, my man. Put that chair up. That was easy. Hey, Dad. Son? I thought about what you said the other day. About me not wanting this business badly enough if I couldn't come to you. It's just how I saw it. Well, if the offer's still out there... Of course it is. Good. Because I pretty much wiped out all my savings trying to get the company started. Well, that's a common mistake. That's why you never use your own money, see? Usually I would say that venture capital is the way to go, except... Except the VCs are still trying to recover from all those dot-com companies that went under. They're sitting on their money now. 